How's it going, you glorious devil hunters? My name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on Peak of Combat. And as you can see on the screen, someone's experiencing Wallet May Cry. That's right. We got V, grant you. It was actually for 30 bucks for us. We actually won the 50 50 and actually got him within 52 uh, pulls. So, not bad. Yeah. Uh, Today's video, we're just going to discuss the latest update here, what's going on, and some of my complaints, some pros, some cons, some good stuff. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's just get into it. Where's your motivation? As... All I'm going to say is, right now, my motivation is very, very slim. Uh, let me put my drink down. There is some good stuff and some bad stuff I'm going to say about this last update. And for all you guys, before we get started, it's like, oh, we're about the V build video, we'll upgrade your V and everything. Let me tell you something right now, before we get started on anything... I'm currently working on my Virgil, and I'm currently working on my Dante Demon Hunter builds right now, as well as my Nero, but mostly these two right now. So all resources are going into those characters. V is going to be later. Unless otherwise we get some outlandish donations again on the stream, like, you know, uh, certain gimpy hands. Uh, that's the only way we're going to go ahead and really start building up this character. Uh, until, the, until much later, I'm not worried about him right now. We got V, and we'll discuss V at a later time. But in this update, as you can tell, when it comes to the vault, Eternal Nightmare V is here. Frosty Grace is a secondary banner. We have, you know, the weapon prayer right now for I Blizzard, the exclusive hell weapon for V, as well as Frosty Grace's exclusive Danger Close. Um. What can we say? What can we say about this update? Good things. Let's go with the good things first. Okay, let's go with some of the good stuff that's happened with that's happening with this update. One of the good things that's happened in this update is the, the basically the rebranding, I like to call it. The reintroduction to co-op mode where you get weekly attempts right here. And now you have Nightmare Game and then you have the Mission of Fate or Fate. To where you come in here, you can challenge, and I believe that you can only get the rewards daily from my understanding. It runs from Monday, difficulty levels already locked, uh, unlocked, do not reset. Four players required. Each round, uh, this is all changed right here. So we're going to look at that later, but we got ourselves a new raid. It's only one boss, it's Ba. Spend two durability, and you know you get a daily reward. You just have to wait, and your weekly rewards is two out of three. Um, same thing here. What they did now is you have daily rewards for going ahead and doing the boss raids, as well as your weekly your weekly rewards. So it gets more emphasis to do, you know, co op challenge. And tonight, this is what we're gonna do tonight. I believe we're just gonna go ahead and run DMD, and we're gonna also see about running SOS to just do this. <clears throat> so. If you need help with, you know, anything in here, we'll be streaming this tonight and going through it and discovering what we can discover even more. As well with this new update, <clears throat> as you know, Realm Conqueror, Ice Realm has been opened. Uh, I'm only on floor five because legitimately I don't feel like playing V right now. I really don't. Um, I Like I said, I will make a video strictly on V later on. Uh, next couple of days and discuss that I'm, I'll give you towards the end of this video maybe like a pretense of what my thought pattern is with him real quick but I'm, I'll put it like this to you I'm not really interested right now I, I'm really not so those are two good updates that we got there another good update that ended up happening from this is we went ahead and purchased Anima. This used to be where you do like the first attempt for 100, second attempt for 200, and the third attempt went up to 400. Well, the third attempt is now 200. So they lowered, they, they reduced the cost of using your purple gems for this. That's a good change in the right direction. 
when it comes to you know the festivals right now i guess uh we're going to talk about this, this is actually gonna go my cons list to be honest uh new event also this is actually you know playing v here you go voila welcome to his story which is the broken gear they're gonna break it up just like they did with devil bringer where it's gonna be in parts um peak of journey where you can go collect you know your resource tokens you can do all this it's all called stanima go complete this and then you can go you know exchange that oh not the vault boy this takes a little while to just get right into um you can go to you know present right here you got right here you can get some shards if you s plus ss sss and he acts the character your exclusive weapon perk peak your exchange which is at your redeem shop right here you can get some more shards here five shards everything that you need right here which i'm gonna go take a look at something real quick here because when it comes to it under the peak of journey under challenge these are all by three right yeah three six nine twelve make sure 15 18 so you get 18 there you get 18 shards there and it's gonna be just like you know it's gonna be just like the uh like Dale Briar, where you're gonna have to get v anyway which we'll talk about that like i said uh and then you get five shards here so you roughly 19 20 21 22 so you get 22 shards in general from just doing that whoop they do let me go ahead and lower the background music really quickly because for me it's a little bit distracting when i'm trying to make a video so let's get that rid of that real quick so that's opened up then we have the lunar festivals going on which in 14 days if you complete all this you get all these rewards and then you can go ahead and get for free the phoenix dance skin for swift arsenal which actually looks really good i'm glad it's free now this is these are all your good side good aspects of everything here let's go ahead and talk about the con side especially to my free-to-play friendly players and it revolves around the festival. I first thought that, you know, when I first looked at this, like, oh my God, this actually seems really good. You know, like, they, like I think they learned from their mistake with Devil Bringer, so they, they must have fixed this a little bit. You can make some wishes here. You got some rewards here that tells you, like, your, your, your drop rate right here. And then you get into your missions where you got your own personal side that you got five rounds to go through and then you got your server rounds where the server all together must work you know your server must work together to be able to do all these wishes in order to start unlocking this which is pretty good because it means everybody's got to work together then you come to exchange your exchange you get these little firecrackers right here okay there's some crack and you gotta buy well, at least one to open to start open up these tiers, right? We calculated it on the live stream. To get the Hartley feather, you need a hundred crackers, and you need two hundred and twenty crackers to get the universal hell weapon. Do you realize? You have to come over here and you have to buy this stuff. In all honesty, we calculated in order to get both the hell weapon as well as the skin you have to buy the 49.99 pack the 29.99 pack the 19.99 pack the 14.99 pack the 9.99 the 4.99 the 99 cents the 250 gems and the free fucking pack all this you got to get all of this which told us to be 115 fucking dollars then after you do that you can start claiming these right here okay under personal to start getting more firecrackers and then you get all these firecrackers right here all the way up to level five you start getting all this that is when you can go ahead and come here and finally get for 115 bucks hardly feather 
in the reverse mountain together. That doesn't seem fair. That really, in my personal opinion, does not seem fair at all. The only thing so far that's worthwhile deal that you can see is we got the weapon vault breakers out of this. We really, that's really what we were focusing on on my tonight. I might go ahead and do start doing the special vault breakers as such. I might pay a little bit more and get the and just start pulling this out. But legitimately to pull this out would be like 80 some bucks. This right here with this it would be one hundred and fifteen dollars. We calculated. Why? Why? Like, th this is a really, really bad con, in my personal opinion. Like, this is something... Uh, this is something that should not be should not be like this. There should be a paid side to it, and there should be a free-to-play side to it. And the free-to-play side should be able to have a chance to collect the same reward. Just do some kind of heavier grinding. I don't know. But this is a little scummy in a sense. But, you know, it is what it is. The, like I said, there's some good things, but you can still see that the paywall is still pretty heavily instigated in this. And now to get into the almost the second to the last part of this video, in a sense, we're going to talk about V for a minute. And the reason why I'm going to be waiting to make a video on V <clears throat> legitimately i gotta build them up but like i said i got two other hunters right now which is my dante and my virgil which tomorrow we're going to be doing a card pulling stream and we're going to be working on those two characters when it comes to v he's going to be last on my list really to update but we did get to play him a little bit we leveled him up to level 11 we threw some zero cards on him we put on you know the next version of his cane which wasn't a hell weapon because it wasn't legendary or anything it's just you know the epic version and i'll just say it like this v is a just to give you a, a little bit of a rundown from his talents v is a actually great very very great unit like reading every single one of these talents about you know what kind of damage he inflicts and the percentages and everything else he's a good unit i mean when your mp is above 80 percent activate domination inflicts you know 82 percent damage when you're at ex and your checkmate non-lethal's damage goes up to by 200 percent you know like there's different aspects to this that makes this character a really really great unit my issue he plays worse than Devil May Cry 5 V. I was already bored playing V in Devil May Cry 5. I hate it every single segment. This is my own personal take. I will put it like this to you. If you like playing V in Devil May Cry 5, you'll probably like playing him in here. But in this game, the gameplay is pretty much stand, read a poem as fast as fucking possible and just keep your nightmare on the screen and let him do all the damage. He is legitimately, like I said, best unit, but not a rewarding unit, if that would make sense. I'm a guy who used to play fighting games and the best way I could describe it is you could play a character like Guilty Gear, I'll use for an example. You could play a character like Guilt, uh, like Soul Bad Guy, Chip Zanoff, Milia Rage, you could feel like you've accomplished something when you actually learn your combos and you beat someone. Or you could play top tier and you can go play Happy Chaos and just sit in a corner and shoot everybody and they can't do nothing about it. It's funny, but do you feel do you feel rewarded by winning that way? I'm just saying. You're, you're basically pl playing the zoner. And to me, that's not fun to do. I like to be up in the face of my enemies. I like to go ahead and be doing all this other stuff. I mean, other characters that's in here, even even Order Knight Nero feels better to play than V, in my personal opinion. Now, I'm going to switch tactiles real quick on this. We're going to take off the screen real quick.
uh just for in case and i'm gonna go ahead and open up something else because this is a con i that i am hoping that maybe my video will reach out to someone that can talk to me about this because i would like to actually discuss this with you and please if you if you see this video you check this out leave me a comment below come to the live stream please let's go ahead and discuss this if this is actually the case so i'm gonna go ahead and put up on the screen a twi uh, tweet right now Ta da and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to maximize the screen so that way everyone here can see it this comes from the official Del May Cry Pika Combat Channel, DMC POC. The Stop Touching Grass Returning Hunters event is here. Log in to Del May Cry Pika Combat now. Rewards are waiting for you if you have skipped the hunt for more than seven days. We discussed this in a video, uh, yesterday's video, I believe. We've already discussed this. This was posted at 7 a.m. Okay. And... My question to you, to people, is who logged in after seeing this posting yesterday? If you're one of the people that logged in on February the 6th after seeing this post before 9 p.m., please let me know. Because the reason being is there was a second posting that came in afterwards, which is this one right here, which follows this post from dmc the event will become available on february 8th after the maintenance this was at 9 10 p.m so my question here has been proposed and we haven't had anyone in the live stream yet that could actually test this for us because no one really either you know had a seven day account little you know disbarment in a sense like oh they haven't played for seven days but I'm trying to see if there's anybody who, when they saw this, they did not play for seven days. They went on the six. They logged in, saw that they didn't get the reward, and then, you know, waited till after maintenance, re-logged back in. Did you get the pop-up for this to go ahead and get this event? Because I will, again, just because I have to do this real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to remove really quickly my... Um, screen real quick just because i want to open up discord real quick give it a second because i want to open up my server and get this screenshot yeah that's what i was worried about there because i didn't want to actually show a conversation with one of my friends right now but did you get this if you logged in on the six and hey you know nothing happened you logged in yesterday on the 7th, nothing happened, and then you logged back in today. Did you get this screen? Or not? Because the returning hunters right here, you should have seen either one of these screens, if that had been the case. But the problem that I'm seeing right here is if people logged in this is where my theory is coming in and i want to hope that i'm hoping i'm being disproven on this if you logged in on the six right you didn't see the rewards and you, you logged on the eighth expecting to get these rewards i'm wondering if it reset the account to where now you're no longer you know inactive for seven days meaning that you know your justified reward never will come because you were tricked into logging into your account this is a con that I want to bring up. I want to re-emphasize on this and hopefully grab some attention on it and get some comments and some feedback on this. Please let me know down in the comments below or come to the live streams when we do the live streams and let me know. But I'm just making sure that if you logged in like on the 6th when they posted this or the 7th, that you still got this reward on the 8th. Okay. But until next time, guys, again, have a good one. Welcome to Wallet May Cry. And let's just hope these scummy practices don't last. Okay? Have a good one, guys. Catch you on the flip side.